Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, today has been an exciting day as uh, Fly-by-Wire Simulations has released the MCDU uh, of uh, the Airbus A320neo uh, for the tab and for the mobile and for other uh, devices uh, which you use. And the best part about this MCDU is this that you don't have to install any application on your mobile or your, on your tab or any other system. Uh, it opens in the, in the browser. Uh, but before I start, I would just like to uh, take you quickly through one thing because um, I'm assuming that the beginners will be also watching this video. Uh, there is a default Airbus A320 in Microsoft Flight Simulator and with this uh, default pane, you can also install uh, the fly-by-wire simulations uh, uh, Airbus A320. So this is uh, the website and uh, you can install the installer and once the installer is installed, you can uh, install the plane. Uh, the uh, the main version and plus also the development version. So here's the site. Just for your information, I've also uh, given uh, the link uh, to this um, website in the description. So once uh, you have the installer, you will be uh, given an option to install Airbus A32NX, which is the A320neo, and uh, you can uh, click on the stable version and you can install it. You will see an option install. As uh, right now, it is already installed in my system and Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator is running. That's why it's saying update, but uh, you can do it. And uh, for the MCDU to work on your tab or your mobile or any other device, you have to install the development version. It uh, doesn't come with the stable version. So you, you have to switch it to the development version. So once you install uh, the stable version and you click the development version, over here you will see an option switch. So the moment you switch, um, this development version will be installed on your uh, system. So once uh, the uh, development version is up and running and installed, uh, you have to go into the um, um, installation directory of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, for my system, I'm using it in uh, D drive, in the program files, in the Steam apps because I'm using the Steam version. And in the common folder, you will see Microsoft uh, uh, Flight Simulator if it is uh, installed uh, by Steam for you. Uh, maybe uh, for you, it will be a different folder. But in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, go to the Community folder, and then you will see Fly-by-Wire Aircraft A320neo. And in this folder, you will see a folder MCDU Server. The moment you will open this folder, you will see this uh, executable file. Just double-click this file, and uh, this prompt will open which will ask you, uh, would you like to enable printing to a real printer? And you simply type N and press enter. The moment you will press enter, you will see these uh, two lines in, on your screen. The first one is this, uh, the control uh, of the MCDU from another device on your network. So you have to be on the same network. You should be connected to the same um, LAN or the, or the Wi-Fi. Or uh, you can uh, also use this uh, address to use it on the same device. But now as I'm going to open this uh, MCDU on my uh, browser in the iPhone, so that's why I will be using this link. So if you want to use it on your tab or, or any other uh, mobile, maybe it's an Android or an iPhone or any other um, mobile phone which has got the Chrome browser, you can uh, simply follow this link and you can open the MCDU. So here I am in the flight simulator, right now parked at uh, uh, Skardu Airport, which is in Pakistan. Beautiful airport and recently it has been given the status of an international airport. Before it was not international. Right now it's very snowy over here. Okay, so I will just go and uh, quickly uh, just uh, turn on the system so that we have an access to the MCDU. So here I am. Now what I'll do is this. Let me just adjust the view uh, for you guys because right now I will just uh, try to show it over here on the left side that how it appears on the mobile phone. I'm not using a tab for this but you can also do it on the tab. So uh, I'm going to uh, uh, use uh, the URL as you seen before in order to access uh, the MCDU and uh, here on your screens you will see it. So now uh, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go to the ATSU menu and you can see that as I'm selecting it on the mobile, it is also changing on your system and I go to the AOC menu 
and I'll go to the init press and uh, I'll uh, ask uh, for the initialization data and you see it's updated and it's working perfectly all right I can also uh, go to the weather request and if I enter O P I S as the departure airport and if I uh, let's clear this and if I enter O P I S as Istanbul airport sorry OPSD <laughs> the departure is OPSD sorry for this and I press send you will soon see uh, the company message over here the moment it comes uh, we will see whether it's working or not let's increase the brightness as well and as we have uh, the company message so let's go back and uh, receive messages and meta information so you can see it's updated and if I print it it will also get printed over here by the printer let's check and you can see we have the meta report okay so this is uh, working perfectly all right now what I'll do is this I'll uh, just go back and uh, I will go to the weight and balance and uh, send request and we can start the boarding you can see the boarding is working perfectly all right and uh, then if I go to initialization page I can request for the initialization you can see it's there and uh, plus uh, I can go to the flight plan and if I click OPSD and if I have set the departure and uh, I'll select 32 runway no SID insert and uh, and that's it and uh, um, I'm, I'm assuming that you are familiar uh, with the flight planning and uh, because right now uh, I'm actually using SimBrief to get the flying uh, flight information uh, so that's why uh, this uh, flight plan is already loaded if you don't know how to do this there is a tutorial on my website which you can just uh, go uh, not on the website but on the YouTube channel where you can just go and uh, watch the video how to configure the MCDU and uh, you can uh, learn how to fly this plane if you are a beginner but the best part is this that you can easily control it from your tab and for your from your mobile so if I go to over here performance uh, you can see we can get the V1 sorry we have to enter the flaps uh, so I can enter let's say 1 slash 0 0.5 up it and I think we can get the VR yes 122 and V2 so you can see this option is also working and in a B page uh, is also working get the zero fuel weight and the center of gravity you can get the block fuel oh, sorry um, fuel planning so the block is already picked up so here it is thank you very much for staying with me and if you've got any further questions or if you have any issues, uh, please ask me in the comments section. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I keep on making different videos and I keep on uploading them on my uh, channel. So you'll be updated with different tips and tricks and uh, plus some flights uh, for the Microsoft Flight Simulator X-Plane 11. And uh, to be honest with you, positive feedback is always welcomed on my channel. Thank you very much once again for staying with me. Hope to see you soon. Have a nice day.